<clears throat> asthma. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, asthma causes wheezing, breathlessness, chest tightness, and coughing at night or early in the morning. 300 million people are going through the same disease. As you saw, I'm allergic to cats. And you might ask, why do you still have asthma if you know that you have it? It's because there's no cure for asthma. However, inhalers can be a temporary solution for it. How do these inhalers work? Bronchioles are the pipes in your lungs. And when they are inflamed, which causes swelling, it makes it harder to breathe. Inhalers can prevent these asthma attacks by smoothing the inflamed bronchioles. In these bronchioles, there are two types of receptors, beta-2 receptors and muscarinic 3 receptors. Beta receptors are responsible for dilating the bronchioles by using cyclic AMP to fight against inflammation, which will help the patients to breathe better. On the other hand, muscarinic receptors are responsible for bonding with acetylcholine, which will make the bronchioles to inflame. Based on these mechanisms, there are two major types of inhalers, beta agonists and muscarinic antagonists. Beta agonists stimulate the beta receptors to create more cyclic AMP, which will help fight inflammation. On the other hand, muscarinic antagonists will prevent acetylcholine bonding from muscarinic receptors, which will help the patient to breathe better. It may sound abstract at this point, but let me explain it in this way. Have you ever played a tower defense game? In these types of games, the players are supposed to defend the tower from opponents that are coming to the tower on a specific trail. Let's say that the tower is the muscarinic receptor and that the opponents are acetylcholine. As explained, acetylcholine should not bind with the muscarinic receptor. Thus, the player should try their best to fight back the acetylcholine from binding with the muscarinic receptors. This would happen by the use of muscarinic antagonists. The muscarinic antagonists would fight against the acetylcholine so it will not bind with the receptor. Then when do beta agonists actually come into use? This time, the player's objective is to break the tower, and we will. Name the tower Inflammation. Beta receptors will be the attackers, and since we will be attacking this time, these receptors will be our allies. These receptors will shoot arrows in the form of cyclic AMP to the tower. How would the agonist help the beta receptors to break down the tower? Beta agonist would be the ability of the player that lets the beta receptor shoot the cyclic AMPs faster since the beta agonist is responsible for the stimulation of cyclic AMP generation. Now that will lead to the tower, which is inflamed, breaking down faster. That would also mean that the bronchioles will soothe. Hooray! It is quite tragic that this type of game is the only way to cope with asthma. I really hope that someday asthma will be curable. However, until then, asthma patients will need treatments such as inhalers. Wait, 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 don't misunderstand. I still love cats, and I will, forever, but, you know, because of asthma.